No chill, no filter. What's poppin', what's poppin', and what is poppin' again, y'all? As y'all can see, y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all done read the cap. That's probably why you clicked on here, man. You know what I'm saying? Coronavirus. I think I've I've been quiet long enough, man. I, I just wanna, I wanna first off just, you know, pray that if there's anything that's happened in your life that's changed or, or that is, that has, that has, um, I wanna say, um, turned your normal into something else I'm asking that you 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 have a, a very quick and speedy recovery whether it be you being affected directly by the virus or your life being affected by the virus um, and I, 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 I pray that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ may you all be covered with the blood of the lamb you know what I mean so now that I got that out the way <clears throat> I just want to just speak on it really quick because coronavirus, crisis or crap? That, that's, that's, the, that's the question right there. Is it a crisis or is it crap? Me, myself, I feel it's crap. I'm not going to take it lightly, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to overreact like you assholes are doing. How dare you guys go and panic buy up all the, the, the disinfectant spray and toilet paper? What the hell is y'all doing with the toilet paper? That that's the question. You know what I mean? What what are y'all actually needing with the toilet paper? That's that's kind of like the the big question of the day. It seems to me as all of this as if all of this is pretty much leading to money. And whoever comes out with the most, that's who was behind it, if you ask me. I mean, that's just, you know, my, my honest opinion on it because every time I turn around, it's somebody talking about money. What type of Dr. Evil ass number is two point some odd trillion dollars? And now we want to sue China for six point five trillion dollars. I mean, come on, man. I mean, just all you got to do is just really look. Uh, honestly, my norm hasn't changed. The only thing that has changed is every time I go somewhere, I'm seeing people wearing these dirty ass masks. You know, at least change them. You know what I mean? Then y'all got these dirty ass gloves on. I'm going to put it to you like this here. I'm hearing all the stuff. I'm hearing all the foolishness. I'm hearing all the gossip, and I'm looking at all these goofballs. But you need to understand something. I don't believe in gossip and goofballs. I believe in God. So I do believe that that's the reason why my norm hasn't changed. But only thing I see is when I go out, I mean, honestly, what I see when I go out and what I see on my phone are two totally different things. Because it's chaos on my phone but when I go outside birds are chirping you know animals are frolicking and you know dumbasses are still swerving tearing up cars you know they was just chasing some idiot over there on 51st and killed a woman you know what I mean so you know I don't really see a huge difference and if this is such a huge pandemic why are you all trying to get us to believe it you already told us what it is you already said hey this is a pandemic it's killed these many people and this is what's happening. You know what I mean? These people are affected. These people are this. This is what's happening. Blah, blah, blah. But every time I turn around, it's somebody, oh, Lord, y'all better understand this is real. Okay, we, we get it. You know what I mean? You, you don't have to keep getting online talking about how real it is. Because honestly, the more you, 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 you scream uh, about how, how real it being, is the more I believe it's fake. And, and, and understand something. Let's just say 10 days later, heaven forbid, 10 days from now, I fall sick and die from this virus. Somebody infected me. Somebody actually killed me. Somebody put that garbage in me. And know this, I am a very, very um, sensitive person. And I'm not talking about emotionally, but I can be every now and again. Now, you know, but I'm, I'm saying I'm a very sensitive person. So if I feel somebody stick, prick, poke, prod or or brush up against me lightly in a suspicious manner, I'm going to break their motherfucking back. That's just that. And that's what's happening now. That's what you got people like me up at arms about. If I'm sitting in a, and y'all talking about, oh, now everybody has to wear a mask because people are sneezing. If there is a six foot rule, if there is a, a, a social distancing rule, and I'm in this big store, and I hear somebody sneeze, and I feel the mist, y'all can check me for the COVID in the, in the county. Period. Check me for the COVID-19 while y'all booking me into the county. Because I'm, I'm rendering his ass unconscious. There, there's absolutely no reason why he should be that close up on me. So, yeah, I'm not taking it serious. I'm not, I'm not going overboard with it to a point where 
If I go outside, I got to hold on, wait a minute, hold on, I bet not do, no, I'm not finna do that. But I will take it serious enough to know that if somebody walk up on me and say, what's up, brother, I'm killing dude. I'm doing something very, very, very serious to that guy because he has absolutely no business, first off, in my face. And that's how I feel either way it go. I don't care who you are. I don't care what's going on. I don't care. Damn this pandemic. They pretty much telling me, look, if you want to survive, live like you've been living. I never I never like being around people. I don't shake people's hand if I don't know them. And you best believe if you right here and you <coughs> bro, back up before I beat your ass. And I mean that. That that right there is 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 a is a hundred percent that that's a that's a threat now. That's a threat. If somebody say, Man, yeah, dog, you know, uh uh keep on talking, man, I'm gonna send one of them corona victims over there to you. That that's that's like no pun intended, but for real, that's a that's a real life threat. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is to my peoples, man, everybody that's watching this, everybody that can hear my voice right now, calm down. You know what I'm saying? Just just chill out. All you gotta do is is let your eyes tell you what it is that's going on. When you go outside, me myself, if I go outside and I still see squirrels frolicking. I still see the birds chirping and, and, and kicking it and flying about. And you know what I'm saying? I saw a hawk eating a squirrel. What's today? Monday? Saturday. When I was out, I saw a hawk eating a squirrel. So life has not changed it other than what they've told you. And me, myself, I don't know nobody personally that has it. Not even a sniffle over this way, like my man Dave, Dave Chappelle said. You know what I mean? So I don't know really what's going on other than people. And then now people sharing all this fake news. Why are you why are you sharing stuff from 95 and, and, and 87 and, and 2006? Why, why are you sharing that type of stuff right now? That's irrelevant. It's 100 percent irrelevant. It's about what's going on right now. So my thing is, if y'all if y'all really want to want to want to figure this thing out. All you got to do is follow the money. That's it. Now, all of a sudden, oh, you know, we're going to give everybody $1,200. Okay, so you telling me that all of a sudden there's just going to be this money magically appearing to my account because when I do my when I do my taxes, um, I get direct deposit. Now, all of a sudden, I'm going to get this fictitious $1,200. I didn't ask for anything. I didn't ask for this money. So if I can't, if I can't myself say, okay, you know what? Let me fill this paperwork out so I can read it to see what comes with this $1,200. I don't want the $1,200. Y'all can have that. But the billionaires are getting billions. But we are getting a few hundred. And I already know why. And, and they, they, they already justifying it. They, they already justifying it already. I, I saw a post today that said um, black people are going to uh, use their uh, $1,200 on weed, liquor, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. Okay, so if that's the only reason why, that's the reason why we only getting $1,200. Because y'all feel that that's what we're doing. You know, it's really, really sad what's going on right now. Like I said, it's like they distracting us with all this foolishness because them big wigs is divvying up that money. You best believe that. When they when, when it's all said and done, see they breaking the big bread on the table and, 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 and the little crumbs that's falling off the table, that's what's trickling down to us. I say y'all can keep it. Shove it up your ass in real life. Take your virus back. Damn the money. Take your virus back. Once again, if that's even true. And trust me, I've done my research. I've sat around people. Oh, yeah, my mama was sick and da, 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 blah, blah, blah. So I have to ask the question. If your mom was sick, how did you get over it? Oh, I didn't say I was sick. I said my mama was sick. But you said you took her to the hospital. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I did take her to the hospital. Okay, so how did you get over it? Oh, no, I didn't get sick. No, oh, no. See, my mama didn't have that corona. She had, it. see, it's different type of strains. And now, be quiet. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just getting sick and tired of it. And I'm not talking about your mother's co-worker's dog, dog's groomer uh, 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 sister on his mother's side in Phoenix. I'm talking about somebody who you know intimately that you can say, hey, this person fell sick. Now, trust me, there are going to pe be people that hop up on here. I'm not talking about, you know, I'm not, like I said, making light of this. And, and, and one life is too many to lose. My dad, uh, heaven forbid anything happens to him, that would really, really crush me. My, I lost my mom a couple years ago, and he is all I have left as far as matriarchs, okay? One life is way too many. But when you lose 17 people out of 10,000, 
That's not adding up to a pandemic. See, when you lose, you got 330 some odd thousand cases in the U.S. 70 some thousand people recovered, but 9,500 has died. So now this guy is saying, it's like he want to speed the process up because now he's saying, oh, next week is going to be really, really deadly. We're going to have a lot of deaths. How you know who? Unless you putting it in people, unless you got a plan to kill these people. That's it. You know what I mean? That, that's how I feel about it. And once again, I'm just telling my peoples, man, keep your eyes open. Get off the Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Look at the news and you can believe a little bit of what they say. You know what I'm saying? But still take it with a grain of salt. Don't go out panic buying because it's people like me who are still living normally. And when I say normally, when I go to the store, I'm not even looking for toilet tissue because my, my baker's rack is full of it. My, my, my utilities rack and all of those type of stuff. I'm, I'm cool and I'm always cool. I, every time I go to the store, if I'm getting low on something, I will go and stock up, but not stock up to the point where I ain't got nowhere to put it. And now you bum ass motherfucking assholes who went out there and panic bought. Now y'all sitting back. Oh, we can't pay our rent. Yes, you're absolutely right. And Family Dollar has a no bring back uh, 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 clause. So if you can, you can stay in line all you want. So y'all was bringing back the toilet tissue. Go, look, stand your ass out there with the with the ballers and, and sell that shit like it's dope. That's what you do. You know what I mean? And, and once again, this here is just really, it's, and everybody says, oh, it's a distraction. The 5G towers and blah, blah, blah. Look, if, if that's the case, we all should have been dead because the 5G towers are now the, the new power lines. I don't know if y'all remember this. If you're, if you're 35 plus, if you're 35 years of age plus, you will know about what they used to say about the power lines. And the power lines got to a point where people used to use it as a joke. Like, oh man, if somebody acting stupid or, you know what I'm saying, uh, for lack of better words, acting retarded or whatever, oh, that person must have lived on the power lines. Oh, that person must have lived on the power lines. Because they said it was the cause of birth defects and all type of stuff like that. But we living under that stuff right now. Y'all see those big transformer thingies? Yes, that stuff's supposed to be letting off all type of crazy radiation, but I can go right outside and see one. Don't nobody say nothing about that. Don't nobody burn that down. And now y'all sitting up here talking about the 5G towers. What are you uploading your videos with? You, well, how are you uploading your videos on 5G? Okay, look, like I said, I am just keeping my eyes open. I am keeping my head on the swivel. And if it if like i said heaven forbid it, it happens to me personally or somebody that i know you know that would be the only time that i would you know be some sort of cause of panic and then they have the nerve to say the tiger the tiger done tested positive okay you 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 sending humans home you're not even Y'all you, not even uh, testing some humans, but now y'all over there testing tigers because they had uh, four of them had a cough. You ever heard of tiger cough? You ever even heard of a tiger coughing? This is really, really, really sad. I, I'm just keeping it 100, man. How much time we got left here? Okay. I'm, that, that, it's just really sad and I'm just seeing like it, it's it's just sad that you know us being the the power country the country that 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 runs the world and not 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 prepared for a simple virus that we knew about for years I don't get it and then you telling me all I have to do to survive is what I've been doing okay well I guess I survive like I said, in 10 days, if I fall sick and die from this crap, no, somebody put it in me. But also, no, <laughs> y'all gonna know who did it, because if, man, look, and, th and that's one of the reasons why I'm really, don't, I really don't want to take that chance around people, because you got a lot of idiots out there, man. People are sneezing on fruit and spitting on vegetables and all this old type of stuff. What's the purpose of that? And I feel that that type of evil should be wiped off the face of the earth. And I feel that's the reason why God is doing what it is that he's doing. And that's the reason why it's not affecting those of his saints that, that really, you know, believe and follow him. And I feel that, you know, their norm is still the norm. They still can can go to the store comfortably they can still come in comfortably there's nobody trying to break in their homes there's no reports of sniffles or sicknesses no don't have to go to the hospital i don't even want i'm, I'm about due for my six month and i just or should i say my yearly 
and I don't I don't even want to go. You know what I mean? Because I'm I'm I don't I don't want to go through the you know the because uh, people are talking. You know, every time you sit down and talk to somebody, me myself, I, I deal I deal in logistics. You know what I mean? I'm a I'm a I'm a realist. So you know, if I'm sitting down talking to you and you panicking about it, I'm gonna tell you the reason why you should stay calm. And if you don't want to listen to that, I don't want to talk to you no more. I really don't because it's too many people that's causing the panic. As a matter of fact, y'all are the ones that are making it worse. I mean, honestly, y'all causing more problems than the than the actual virus, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm just sick of when I talk to people and I I delve deep into the com and uh, into the conversation and I talk to them about it. It ends up them. Oh yeah, you're right. Now, nah, well, um, and then once again, it don't add up. I mean, I'm 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 playing chess here, not checkers, people. And if you're a chess player, you know exactly what it is. And I'm saying they got you focusing on this much of the board when you got that much to play with. You know what I mean? So just like I said, man, I'm not gonna hold you, you guys too much longer. I just had to talk about this coronavirus. Is it a is it a crisis or is it crap? I call bullshit. I call crap. Sorry. Not sorry. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep myself safe. I'm going to do like I've been doing my whole life. Stay away from people. And once again, just make no mistake about it. If I'm somewhere where I know ain't nobody supposed to be in my face and somebody sneezes and I feel anything that has anything to do with spray, I'm going to jail. Simple and plain. Now you can call that my me panicking. Yes, I will. That that will be my panic right then and there. I will I will definitely panic and I will definitely lay all the way into this whoever whatever individual it is. I don't care if it's a little old lady. You got it coming too. And I mean that. So if y'all want to play these games, y'all can play these games, but just play with play those games with people that's going to play with you back. I ain't I ain't played a game since I was 13, 14 years old. Been playing for keeps since then, and I don't plan on stopping. So please, leave me out of your foolishness. I'm sick of all these people that's supposed to be so woke, but y'all falling right into it. And, and that kind of like bothers me because, you know, y'all supposed to be so intelligent, but y'all believe in every single thing that they telling y'all. And y'all, y'all, y'all changing the words into y'all own, like y'all just so smart, and it still don't make sense. Two and two still adding up to, to, to three and five. You know what I mean? It's not adding up to four. So, like I said, whoever's watching this, I'm just, I'm sending my blessings to you. I'm telling you to calm down. Be cool. Um, live like you've been living. Because I don't know about you, but any OG house who I walked in when I was a kid, even now when I walk in, you know, ain't had nothing to do with this pandemic. Ain't have nothing to do with this crisis. Bottom line, you better go in there and wash your hands before you touch my refrigerator. Or if they come in and see you eating, did you wash your hands? And they serious. Be not done wash your hands and, and, and grandma come in the house and, or, or come out the bathroom or come out the room and you sitting there eating. That's the first thing that's going to come out of mouth. Uh, I know you washed your hands before you, before you went in my food. And, and don't look, get up and walk to the bathroom. When you come back, the plate going to be, it's going to, your, your, your place going to be empty. Go eat somewhere else now. Because you disrespectful for one. Secondly, you trifling. And that's not how we were raised. We was not raised to be trifling. You know what I mean? So, once again, I'm going to let y'all go. But that, that was my Monday moment. One of my first, very first episodes of Monday moment. Join me for my Friday freak out. Because I'm going to definitely do that also. And I'm probably going to be adding more stuff as this foolishness, you know, develops. And, 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 you know, as it goes along. So, I'm hoping that everybody, you know, continue to rock with me, man. If you haven't already... Hit that bell when you hit subscribe, okay? Make sure you do that, man. And once again, calm down, man. This is your big homie MC Ron Ski. It's No Chill, No Filter TV. And I say, fuck Corona. You hear me? The beer, too. I don't care. And I'm about this bitch.